from resigning as head coach at Richmond to taking over as head coach at Virginia State. It's been a short road back for Latrell Scott, but that doesn't mean it's been easy. 8 Sports Director Phil Orvin has the story. About five minutes before my press conference, I was sitting in, uh, I was sitting in a room, you know, waiting to be introduced to the media. And it became a very emotional situation because I thought about you know, where I was, you know, two years ago at this time. Just before the start of the 2011 football season with the Richmond Spiders full of optimism heading into their second year under head coach Latrell Scott, you are sent out a press release. Scott was resigning effective immediately. He had been arrested the night before for driving under the influence. It was a very tough time, you know, for me and you know, for my wife, for my mother, for my grandmother, for my family to go through something like that. And there was a point where I didn't know if I'd ever coach football again. Chris, you gotta be going 100 miles an hour on the motion. Watching Scott at practice, he get a sense that coaching is what he was born to do. To be clear, he wasn't fired at Richmond. Psycho. He wasn't pressured to resign. Bang. See how low I am? In fact, he wasn't even asked. Speed the cadence up, Green. He took responsibility for his actions, taking the tough decision out of the hands of athletic director Jim Miller. Right now on three. Right now on three. One, two, three. It would be too dramatic and sensational to say something like, Scott hit rock bottom. Instead, it was like... Well, like having a bucket of cold water poured on his head. You're an athlete, you have a Superman complex. You know, you're a coach, you still have that competitive nature and you really don't think anything like that can happen to you. But when something like that happens to you, it's such a humbling experience. For the next 12 weeks, Scott watched the team he built struggle to a three and eight record. It wasn't easy, but he would turn his sabbatical from football into something positive. I got the opportunity to do something that most coaches don't do. I spent six months away from the game and I kind of collected myself and I got a chance to spend time with my family. I got a chance to go to my nephew's, you know, ball games. I got a chance to do things that most coaches don't get the opportunity to do. And then I was able to get back in the game. His first job back in the game as an assistant at James Madison under head coach Mickey Matthews. I was standing on the field one night at James Madison and I looked over to Coach Malone, who's actually our offensive line coach right now, and I said, there's no way I couldn't do this. And uh, it's in my blood. It's what I do. And uh, even if I tried to get out of it, I couldn't. It's catch. One, two, three, read that. Two more. Go that way. On September 7th in Fayetteville, North Carolina, Scott will be on the sidelines for Virginia State's season opener as head coach, right where he belongs. Thanks to a support system that helped pull him through and a university that believed in him enough to offer a second chance. The people at Virginia State, they accepted me. And when I see them, there's such an excitement with our fan base, with our alumni. And uh, we're just you know, happy, so happy to be a part of it. And sometimes words can't describe how I feel. With the Virginia State Trojans, Phil Orban, 8 Sports.